What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. I'm Michigan Sports Talk here. Michigan just won back-to-back -back Big Ten titles after beating Purdue last night 43-22 to to improve to 13-0 for the first time in program history. I'm going to be giving my post-game analysis on the game, plus what JJ McCarthy players and Jim Harbaugh said post-game after the game. Also talk about Michigan CFP matchup against TCU. It's all going to be in this video and more. So if you guys on your round here make sure you guys go ahead leave a like subscribe for more comment down below and let's go ahead and get right into it All right, so Michigan defeats Purdue 43-22 to to improve to 13-0. Michigan, I'm sure all of you guys know by now, will be playing number 3 TCU at 4 o'clock Eastern Time on December 31st in the Fiesta Bowl. Winner goes to the National Championship. Let's go ahead and talk about the Big Ten Championship game. It was a little close, but it was never in doubt. Michigan controlled most of this game, especially in the second half. Um, JJ McCarthy had another phenomenal game with three touchdown passes. He did have one mistake throwing an interception, but other than that, I mean, he played a phenomenal game. He went 11 for 17, 161 yards. Like I said, three touchdown passes and made some very good plays by rolling out and uh, throwing across his body, especially one in the end zone to Luke Schoonmaker. And then the very first touchdown for Michigan on offense, a jump ball to Colston Loveland. Perfect ball placement, perfect catch from the freshman tight end. Colston Loveland is going to be a beast here at Michigan. And then JJ McCarthy's third touchdown pass was on a third and 11 in the red zone to Ronnie Bell. A strike, perfect ball, perfect catch. And right now, JJ McCarthy and the receivers, they are all making plays right now. They are clicking at the perfect time right now. The defense did their thing. Uh, they bent a lot, but they didn't break. They forced Purdue to five field goals in this game. I mean, it was just outstanding what the defense did. They also came away with two interceptions, both of them from freshman Will Johnson. He had an amazing game. Uh, he was jumping routes. He's going to be very special here. Michigan did get out to a slow start in the first half. As usual, they did lead though 14-13 to at the half. And then bam, second half hits. Uh, Donovan Edwards has a long, long run, sets him up in the red zone, and then Michigan punches it in with Kalel Mullings, Michigan using him kind of as a Hassan Haskins in their power bunch. He was a linebacker, uh, and now he is playing running back for Michigan in those close yardage situations. He had two touchdowns, but Donovan Edwards also had another great run for a touchdown. He had one touchdown on 25 carries and 185 rushing yards, really stepping up. Uh, without Blake Corum and then after the game gave a little little speech to Blake Corum so they did this for him and uh, telling everybody that Blake Corum deserves the Heisman he would have gotten it if he didn't get injured really touching Ronnie Bell it was really nice to see him get a touchdown pass he had five receptions for 67 yards and a touchdown Luke Schoonmaker back in after being injured the last two weeks Three receptions, 56 yards, and one touchdown as well. The defense had four sacks in the game, with two of them coming from Jalen Harrell. He was playing very good uh, with the absence of Micah Morris. Michael Barrett had a sack, and Ayabi uh, no, Oki uh, and Taylor Upshaw both shared half a sack. So let me know what your guys' thoughts on this game. Michigan back-to-back -back Big Ten champs, improving a 13-0, and back-to-back -to -back uh, CFP appearances as they have one thing on their mind this year and right now and that is winning a national championship let's go ahead and get into what Jim Harbaugh and some players said after the game they already talked about Donovan Edwards giving his speech to Blake Corum shouting him out and uh, shouting out to you know the whole team Mike Hart the running back coach and Blake Corum telling everybody he deserves to win the Heisman saying he would have won it if he didn't get injured he also won uh, the Big Ten Championship game MVP and uh, Jim Harbaugh in post game press conference right away came out and said uh, and thanked the parents of the players on the Michigan team and said that they raised some very tremendous young men and he just went on and on about that and just the brotherhood of the team 
his team, man, the culture, everybody loves each other. And uh, his team, man, they have one main goal um, to accomplish. That's winning a national championship. Our ball also praised Donovan Edwards, uh, saying he had 401 yards in the last two games and just said that he shows up in big games and just seeing their smiles in the post-game press conference, you know, telling each other they love each other. Tim Harbaugh was getting very emotional and actually two questions into the post-game press conference, he got so emotional and told them that he'll probably step out, otherwise he was going to get very emotional and I just let the media talk to Donovan and JJ. Just goes to show how much he cares about his players the players love him back too and JJ McCarthy obviously always hyping up Michigan fans during his press or press conference after the big win talking about the possible rematch with Ohio State he said please please bring it on it would be a tr truly a blessing if we get a shot to play those boys again obviously they won't play in the semifinals they could play in the national championship Zach Zinter um, on Ohio State making the playoff, he said it's good if they want to run it back in the natty, let's do it. These team or this team, you know, whoever they play in the national championship, they're gonna be ready. JJ McCarthy also said uh, 13 and 0 is an illusion to us. 13 and 0 doesn't matter unless we win it all. He also said that we really weren't shooting for that national championship last year. Uh, he said that it was kind of like beating Ohio State, win a Big Ten championship. And then he said this year we are shooting for the national championship. Also speaking about the Big Ten championship win, he said it was one of the goals that we checked off. But he also said, but at the end of the day, we still have one more goal to check off and we are focused on that. He also said, so hopefully another opportunity to play Georgia will be amazing because we've been champing at the bit to get that all year. JJ McCarthy uh, also said that he loves our chances of winning a national championship this year. He also asked about how him, JJ McCarthy, uh, Donovan Edwards, Blake Corum were all out there after the Georgia loss watching them celebrate and JJ McCarthy responded with pretty much saying uh, that the Big Ten championship win doesn't feel as special because they remember what happened in the playoffs and they don't want that to happen again and they want more than just a Big Ten championship. So let's go ahead and talk about the matchup against TCU. I think this is a perfect matchup for Michigan. TCU is a good team. They are 12-1. and They went 12-0 and for a reason, but I think Michigan can definitely beat TCU to go to the national championship. It's going to be a good matchup. Jim Harbaugh uh, on the college football playoff selection show today really praised Max Duggan the quarterback for uh, TCU and praised that team but TCU has been struggling especially against the run game and I think it's a perfect matchup for Michigan a perfect opportunity to advance to the national championship and right now this is I mean that is all this team wants right now that has been their main goal the whole season and their eyes is focused on that national championship trophy we'll obviously talk about the matchup in the future we got about a month away from the matchup but Michigan back-to-back -back Big Ten champs 13-0 for the first time in program history Michigan fans enjoy it enjoy this season and uh, this team is looking for that 15-0 national championship. Other than that, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure you guys go ahead, leave a like, comment down below, subscribe for more. And I hope you all have a great rest of your day. We will see you guys in the next video. Peace.